Well, hello there. Have you heard the expression Max don't get viruses? Or maybe I've been preaching that myself too long. Anyway, have you heard of the Silver Sparrow virus? Released in December 2020 and so far discovered in more than 152 countries, it is designed to target specifically M1 Macs, and it is disguised as a Mac OS installer JavaScript API. Believed to have infected over 29,000 Macs, the Silver Sparrow is thought to be no more, but one can never be sure anymore, despite the fact that Mac OS uses sandboxing to limit what apps can do, keeping them from accessing other apps or system files, there are still cases of viruses and malware targeting Macs. But how would you know if your Mac is a target? There are widespread symptoms if a Mac is being infected, like unusual slowdowns, new extensions appearing in the browser out of nowhere, or maybe you're chased by annoying ads or pop-ups. These, however, are the obvious ones and may not necessarily manifest as easy. So how can you really be sure? Well, first off, if you think one of your apps is infected, you can just delete the whole thing and download it again. Often this will do the trick. Clearing the application's cache should always be your first step, however, and if there are optional hidden files, consider removing them as well. To remove an application's cache, you can just simply open Finder, select Go, go to Folder, and type in the library path and choose Go. Delete any particular files inside that folder. Now, don't worry. If you feel intimidated digging into the cache folders, there's an easier way too. I use an app called Clean My Mac X, which can be downloaded through Setup. Besides providing a ton of other features that helps me keep my Mac as fresh as possible, one embedded functionality is malware scan and removal. Here's how it works. Once you open Clean My Mac X, you can use the Smart Scan feature that speeds up the Mac by removing the cache files mentioned a minute ago. Other system junk gets axed too, while Clean My Mac X scans for malware as well. With a simple press of a button and a minute later, you get a report of how many gigabytes of data can be restored and whether or not you are in the green zone when it comes to malware protection. If you don't want to run the complete Smart Scan procedure, you can just go to the malware removal section and scan just for that. You don't have to worry about doing regular manual sweeps, by the way. Every few days, Clean My Mac X reminds you to do regular scans that undoubtedly will clear up at least a few gigabytes of space and ensure there is no malware on the system. Since we mentioned sandboxing earlier, Clean My Mac X can also help you properly uninstall Mac apps without leaving a trace of a file left somewhere in the library. This happens from the uninstall section of the app and by simply choosing one of the multiple apps that need to be uninstalled correctly. Clean My Mac X is M1 ready and it's been updated and optimized to run with Mac OS Monterey. Like I mentioned earlier, it can be downloaded through Setup, a platform that helps you complete a variety of tasks on your Mac, which would normally require you to search the internet and install separate apps. With Setup, you can simply use Use a one-stop subscription to gain access to over 200 plus apps. Install it by clicking the link in the video, then just type your task in the search bar and Setup will recommend the most suitable app to add to your Mac. You can remove apps at any time depending on your workflow. If you have any questions at what I just showed you, let's chat in the comments below and until next time.